Hello and welcome to my home. Today I'm going to show you how to plant turnips two ways. Plant them from seeds and to transplant some turnip seedlings, seedlings, excuse me, that I had started growing in my house. And I did a video about starting seeds indoors as well, so check that out when you get a chance. But before we get to that, I want to let you know that I also have some cooking, easy to cook recipe videos. I do product reviews. I have some meditation videos. And I have a whole lot of container gardening videos for you to check out. So let's go ahead and look at how to plant those turnips. So here is the pot that I'm using. I'm using one of those felt cloth type pots. And this is a wide mouth pot, as you can see, because I'm going to need a lot of room. But this pot, I'm actually growing for the bulbs and the turnips, so I need a wider spacing. Now, if you're going to grow the turnips just for the greens that come out on the top, you can plant them closer together. And I'm going to do something like that as well. So, I got some leftover soil from last season, and I have that in the bottom. And that helps you save some money. This soil is still good. So I'm just going to break it up and it's just in the bottom third. I'm only going to use a third of it in this pot. I have a couple of I have a couple of trash bags full of potting soil from last year and so I'm reusing that in the bottom of all my pots. Again, that helps save money. So I'm just breaking it up. Now I'm going to refresh it with some fertilizer or what they call amended. I'm going to put some all-purpose fertilizer. Now there's a lot of different brands out there so I use Dr. Earth. That's what I've been using and I've had good results with it. I'm just going to put a handful in there. Just a little small handful just to amend it. And then you're just going to stir it up in there. Now the pot you want to use for your turnips has to be fairly deep. So you need about 8 to 10 inches of depth. And this is fairly wide like I said before because I, I really plan on having three mature turnip plants in here. But I'm going to have to put the seeds in here first. So now I'm going to put potting mix, nothing but potting mix in top of to top it off. And you can see this potting mix has some of those little white pebbles. I call them pebbles, but it helps to aerate the soil. And one thing about turnips is they really need loose soil so they can form those bulbs. And I'm going to add another handful of the fertilizer. And mix that in. Just mix it in like you're mixing a cake. Just like that. And this um, potting soil also has some fertilizer in it. And just to make sure that the soil is light enough. I'm going to put some perlite in here. And that's how it looks. And it's some more of those little white pebbles. Just like that. And I'm putting that in there because I want it to be aerated a little bit more. Again, because this is turnips. And I just put a couple of handfuls in there. And now I'll come back in, put another handful of fertilizer. And what I like to do is I like to water in the soil before I plant. That helps get the, all those little air bubbles out and ensures 
that my seeds will not sink down further than what they need to be. And I'm just going to press down a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to get the seeds. I'm going to use some, these are just a purple top white globe. This is your typical turnips that you see in the grocery store. This is a seed left over from last year. And you're just going to plant them in about a half inch, a quarter to a half inch deep. So what I'm going to do is sprinkle them. I'm not going to make any, um, any rows. I'm just going to sprinkle them. That's how the seeds look. I'm just going to sprinkle it just like you were sprinkling salt and pepper on your salad. Just sprinkle them down. And now I'm going to put some more of that soil on top. Again, you're just going to do a, a quarter to a half inch, gently pat it down. And I'm going to spray the tops with water because I don't want to disrupt the seeds. You want to get them nice and damp. You want to put these in a nice sunny spot and if you expect that it's going to rain be sure to put a cover over them so that the seeds aren't um, pushed down further into the soil and you don't lose all the hard work that you did. Now what I also do is, excuse my arm, but if you think it's going to be some a torrential rain and you can't move your pots out the way you can use these little plastic containers that you get you know your strawberries come in it your tomatoes fruit salad and just put that down over it to help protect your seeds from any you know driving rains that might be coming because it is springtime and you never know what the weather is going to be also if you should get an unexpected frost coming you can cover them up with this and um, help keep them protected Okay, so that's the turnips from seeds. I'm going to show you how to plant them, some of the seedlings that I have that I grew inside, and put those into the pots. Okay, I have another one of those felt pots that I'm going to use, and I'm going to transplant some seedlings. Now, these are the ones I had done indoors, and I'm going to take these out of this pot and transplant some into the bigger pot. Now, this pot right here, I'm going to use to grow the turnip greens. I'm not looking so much for the turnip bulbs, but the turnip greens. So I'm going to plant these closer together. So you just want to carefully lift them out. Try to get as much of the roots as you can. And you're just going to separate them gently from each other. Let me give you a better shot here. Yeah. So there ha that's how it looks with the roots. And this pot, I already put potting mix in there. I already put the fertilizer. And uh, I already put some more of that perlite in there. So you're just going to Put it in, cover it up, I'm going to bury it pretty deep up to about there. And you just put the dirt right around it.
don't be disappointed if some of the seedlings don't make it that's fine but you got enough hopefully seedlings that you started that you can afford to lose a few and that's just part of mother nature and that is why you make sure you plant more than what you need because you don't know what's going to survive and what's not okay there you go this is what I'm going to plant in this pot I will do another pot um, using the same method and now I'm going to spray bottle this in now turnips you can do a spring crop that's what you're doing right now so you plant these in early spring you can also do a fall crop where you plant them later in the summer so you can have a fall crop now turnips don't normally like it when it gets up in the 80s so you need to harvest your turnips no matter what state they're in whether they're greens only or greens with the bulbs because the the I want to say the bulbs can get kind of woody and the greens can get kind of kind of um I want to say bitter so this is definitely a cool weather harvest well there you have it if you found this uh, helpful hit the like button and consider subscribing and hitting the notification button so you know when I put out my next video. Well, that's it for now. Bye-bye.